Hey guys, I'm here with our 12 days of Pilates challenge and our first exercise is the 100. We've got our classic 100, which you saw in the previous video. Now we've got some options to modify and actually advance that work. Yes, the 100 can get harder if you want it to. <laughs> but first, let's start with modifications. So we're gonna keep our legs completely still, take them out of the equation. And we're gonna focus on our upper body, specifically engaging the abdominals and the neck together. So let's start with a deep breath, reaching the arms overhead. On your exhale, imagine drawing the rib cage down toward the hips, so you're engaging your obliques to help lift the head and shoulders off the mat. As we start pumping our arms, we may start noticing our necks, and that's the number one complaint in the 100 is neck fatigue. If you've done a couple of pulses and you start to feel that sneaking into your neck, you're welcome to lower the body again, re-engage the abdominals, and come back up with a stronger core connection. So we're not necessarily taking it completely out of the neck, we're just building the strength in the neck to hold this position longer and longer, so we're working on endurance here. If that's not a great modification for you, maybe you've got diastasis recti or an abdominal hernia, something that prevents you from flexing the spine in that way, then we can modify with the lower body. We could continue pumping our arms, keeping a nice core connection with the ribs pulling toward the hips here, but as we take one leg up, we start to load the transversus abdominis, we start to load the pelvis. So we could pump with the arms here, and then we could change legs here, and then maybe we could take one leg up to tabletop with both legs up to tabletop, and then eventually straighten the legs and work on lowering them toward the mat rather than starting with them so low. Then as you progress with the neck, you could do the same progression with the legs and the upper body if that's safe for you. So the idea here is to build endurance in the neck and stability in the pelvis so that eventually we can go from here to our full hundreds position. Funny enough, the higher you lift your head, the less you're gonna feel your neck. So that's gonna be definitely abdominal strength. As that increases and the neck tonality increases, you're gonna feel better. So now you're probably thinking, that's already hard enough. I don't necessarily want to make the 100 any harder. We could add leg variations to it. That's my favorite thing to do. It builds coordination and it's gonna challenge stability in the pelvis even more. So let's say we're already able to do our fully executed 100, but we wanna make it a little tougher. We could continue pumping our arms and also flutter our legs. That's a big coordination challenge. We could do open and close with the legs. We could pick one leg up, put it back down, pick the other leg up, put it back down, or we could scissor kick the legs where they pass each other in the center. All great variations to add in if you're bored of just pumping your arms. So let me know what you think in the comments. If anything works or if it doesn't, also let me know that and we can continue troubleshooting to make it work for you. Thanks.